Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here. I hope you're doing well and uh, I hope these lessons are helping you either at home or in your class if they're supplementing your most awesome teacher on these lessons. I hope in the, uh, that they're helping also. This is uh, section 7-2 in the book that I'm following and, and the common core uh, strand uh, that goes along with this is that we're going to extend our prior knowledge on operations of whole numbers to build fractions from unit fractions. I'll explain unit fractions in just a, in just a bit here. So our essential question is how can we write a fraction as the sum of fractions that have the same denominators, okay, the same common denominators. Okay, so let's try a problem. Dr. Baker wants to share his pizza. So he cut it into eight equal pieces and ate one piece. So if he ate one piece out of the eight, that means there's seven of them left, seven pieces left, so seven eighths of the pizza is left because eight eighths would have made the whole pizza, but he took one eighth out of it. Okay, so then he put the remaining pieces, this should be plural, pieces, put the remaining pieces on a snack tray. So how many trays did he have to use? Okay, so if he's going to, how many trays is he going to have to use if he puts the remaining one piece on each tray? Okay, hopefully you guys know there's going to be seven trays. And what part did he put on each tray? Okay, well this was one-eighth of the piece that he ate, and so this is one-eighth also right here. So so let's go ahead and uh, answer those. So uh, he used seven trays and he puts one-eighth of the pizza on each of the seven trays. Okay, all right, so uh, the one-eighth, you guys, is called a unit fraction because the numerator is one. So whenever the numerator is one, it's called a unit fraction, and it tells uh, the part of the whole that the one piece represents. So one-eighth means it's one of the eight whole slices because the whole was eight-eighths, okay? So it's, a, it's part of the whole. So it's called a unit fraction when there's only one right there, okay? So write uh, seven-eighths as the sum of unit fractions, okay? So seven-eighths is just one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth, seven of them, okay? So that's what seven-eighths is, all right? So if I just added all those pizzas, one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth, it added up to how much he shared. He shared seven-eighths of the pizza. Okay, what if Dr. Baker ate three pieces of the pizza instead of one piece? Well, how many pieces would be left, okay? There'd be five pieces left because there's eight to start with. So how many trays is he going to need right here? He's going to need five trays. What part of the pizza is going to be on each plate? Well, again, it's still going to be one-eighth, you guys. Okay, so he's going to need five trays, one-eighth of the pizza on each tray. So if he had eight equal pieces and ate three of them, then there's going to be five left or five-eighths of the pizza left, okay? And then uh, five-eighths equals one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth, five of those guys, which means there's five pieces left to put one-eighth on each tray. Okay, and again, they're unit fractions because it means it's one out of the whole one-eighth uh, whole pizza right there. All right, let's try another one, you guys. Uh, Paul and Carol are going to share uh, a whole sandwich. So it looks like a nice juicy foot-long sandwich at Subway. I don't know what it is. Uh, the sandwich is going to be cut into eight equal pieces, and they're going to put the pieces on two separate trays. What part of the sandwich could be on each tray? Okay, we'll draw the trays in just a minute. Okay, and then we're going to shade the models that show the three different ways. So they're telling us there's three different ways to put uh, the two or put the six pieces on on two trays. Okay, and then we're going to write an equation for each model right there. Okay, but before we do the models right here, let's slice it up into six equal slices right there. So we sliced it up into six equal slices. So each slice is one six, one six, one six, one six, one six. Adds up to six six, which is uh, one whole sandwich right there. Okay, this is a unit uh, fraction right there because it's one sixth of the whole whole sandwich. All right. So why are there uh, why is there always going to be two add-ins? So why are we always adding two numbers? Well, right here it says they're going to put it, the pieces on two separate trays. So because there's only two trays, uh, there's going to be only two add-ins right there. So can you write the fraction as the sum of unit fractions with six in the denominator? Okay, explain why or why not. Okay, well since we're only doing two trays, you guys, I can't because there's only two add-ins. There's only two trays. And to write the fraction using unit fractions with six denominators, we would need six trays to make it one six, one six, one six, one six, one six, one six with add-ins all between them. Okay? So can we write the fraction as the sum of unit fractions with six in the denominator? Not if there's only two trays. You'd have to have six trays to make it uh, 
uh, with 6 in the denominator. If there's only two trays, it'd have to be 1 half plus 1 half, okay? But we got to, this says we're slicing it up into six, uh, 6 equal pieces right here, so we can't do it. All right? All right, so let's see. I'm underlining that. It says, um, all right, so so here's my uh, uh, my sandwich right here. It's going to be sliced up, and they said we're going to have three models. So there's the three models right there, okay? Now, can you think of two numbers that add to 6, you guys? Okay, well, 5 plus 1 adds to 6. So I can call this one 5, 6. So maybe Paul's the hungry one, and Carol doesn't want to have uh, as much as the sandwich. She's only going to have 1, 6, and Paul gets 5, 6. Or maybe Carol's the hungry one, and she gets 5, 6, and, and Paul only gets 1, 6. I don't know. Whatever. Can you think of two other numbers that you can add that gets me 6, you guys? Okay. Uh, let's see. Because remember, there's only two trays. This tray and this tray. These are my trays. Aren't those good-looking trays? All right. What other two numbers can you add? I, I bet you guys can think of that. How about uh, 4 and 2, you guys? So 4, 6, and 2, 6 right there. So Paul could have 4, 6 of the, of the sandwich, and then Carol could have 2, 6. Or they can just split it right in half. And what would that be, you guys? Hopefully you guys know, 3, 6, and 3, 6, okay? So that's how um, we'd model that right there, okay? So um, there's three ways we can add uh, two fractions to get 6, 6. So 5, 6 plus 1, 6, 4, 6 plus 2, 6, or 3, 6 plus 3, 6 right there, okay? That's the only way we can get um, 6, uh, 6 as a fraction right there. Okay, what if three friends shared the sandwich, okay? So three friends would be three trays, you guys. And you still got them sliced up into one sixth right there. So we're going to, what part of the sandwich could be on each tray, okay? So write an equation to support your answer. Okay, can you think of three numbers that adds up to six, you guys? Okay, I know you guys can. I know you guys can. I bet you're not thinking of this one right here. Uh, one six, one six, and four six. You can have people that are not hungry, and then you can have one that's going to be the pig. And he's going to be hungry, like me. I like to eat sandwiches. So I might want uh, four six of the sandwich, and I'd only give one six to my two friends. You know, it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in or what kind of mood you're in. Okay? So because uh, six six equals one six plus one six plus four six right there. Okay? All right. Uh, so can you think of other three numbers that you can add together to get me uh, one or six six? You guys, okay? I can add um, uh, one six plus two six plus three six. Okay? One six plus two six plus three six. All righty. All right, so um, uh, can you think of any th other three numbers that you can add together? Well, you can split that sandwich up evenly, and each person would get two six of the sandwich. So two six plus two six plus two six equals uh, six six of the sandwich, okay? I always used to make my sister get me a sandwich, and I'd have to get a spider out of her room. It would crawl on her wall, and so the deal was she had to make me a sandwich. Anyway, uh, let's see. So if there were eight trays, you guys, could one six of the whole sandwich be on eight trays? Can you can you uh, put uh, these uh, six equal slices on eight trays? No, I can't do that because you'd only have enough to, uh, pizza to put one six on each of the first six trays. So if there was eight trays, there would be two trays that didn't have anything on them. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. I'll see, see you in the next lesson. Take care.